After daily driving the Pixel Buds A for 6 months, I decided it was time to upgrade to a more feature packed set of wireless earbuds, the Pixel Buds Pro. I've been daily driving the Pixel Buds Pro for 2 weeks and I decided it was the perfect time to share what I think with you. Hey what's up I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about these. Now I've been using the Pixel Buds Pro for around 2 weeks now and I actually have mixed feelings about them. My mixed feelings started already when I went to the shop to pick these up because the box is actually rather small. I mean if you compare it to the box of the Pixel Buds A, which is well, quite large, you do get that sense of feeling whether these are actually more premium or not. But we'll go into more detail with that later in this video. Let's start with checking out what we have inside of the box. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the box. It is a bit concerning that this top part here is slightly damaged, but hopefully it's nothing. Yeah, with active noise cancelling, I'm always a fan of Google's approach to packaging. It not only makes the product look clean and minimal, but it's actually pretty eco-friendly. This is what the box looks like, and what the charcoal edition. Actually, I don't even need an unboxing knife because look at that. Always makes it so much easier. See, what I mean, this is the thing I like about Google's packaging. It just is such a pleasure to open their products. Okay, so that is the product, and it actually looks and it actually feels weighty. Uh, definitely if I compare them to the Pixel Buds A. So inside, this is pretty cool, you have your ear tips which come inside this packaging here. This is really cool, I honestly like this approach. So that's all your ear tips. And like always, you also get some documentation. So you've got a safety guide, and you've got your support guide and your touch controls as well as finding the best fit. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the item. Take it out of this plastic. So. Right here, these are the Pixel Buds A, as you can see, and these are the Pixel Buds Pro, that's what they look like. And one thing I'm already going to tell you is the fact that the case itself on the Pixel Buds Pro seems to feel more premium than these. Uh, simply opening it, because it has got a sort of stronger spring load on here, it just feels more premium. And in terms of size as well, to be fair, that's the size difference, so it's just slightly bigger. Only just. But these definitely feel more weighty than these do. Let's take a closer look at them. So, this is what it looks like. Feels a lot different to the standard Pixel Buds A. I do admit, though, I wish they did them in this color. I, there's something about this olive color that looks really cool. Now, obviously, these don't come like that. But yeah, that's what these look like. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the Pixel Buds Pro. So, I've been daily driving them for two weeks and I guess that's enough time to get a better opinion of what they are really like. I mean, for a starters, when I started using them initially, I thought to myself, blimey, the Pixel Buds A seriously do fit better inside of my ears. 
I mean, when I've started using these for the very first time, one of the things I already noticed is that they don't feel very secure in my ears, especially if we compare them to the Pixel Buds A, which, forget it out, which have this sort of dangly thing on them. But because of that, they actually fit in my ear really, really well. And they're secured by that dangly thing as well. And they're actually a joy to wear. They're perfect for the gym and they are perfect for any ever sports activities. Now, I didn't get that feeling with the Pixel Buds Pro uh, simply because well they don't have a dangly thing for starters and when I initially put them inside of my ear they just felt that they were gonna fall out now I have managed to find a way around that and that's to simply wear the smallest ear tip which is not very common for me uh, but that's the way around it and it does feel a lot securer in my ear now the second thing I noticed is that these are actually rather quiet, especially if you compare them to the Pixel Buds A or any other earbuds on the market at the minute, I reckon. Um, now, hopefully this will be fixed in a future update because I do really sometimes like to listen to uh, music a little bit louder or if, for example, I'm listening to a podcast or something along those lines, an audiobook that is already, well, extremely quiet. I want to turn the volume up to the max if I can, but unfortunately these aren't the best for that and because, well, they are pretty quiet. Now in terms of the, now in terms of the bass, I'm a huge fan of decent bass. I like it, you know, when um, the music um, is really punchy, but clear at the same time. Now once again. I have very mixed feelings about this because from what I have noticed is that it depends heavily on the track you're playing So these the Pixel Buds A are pretty decent in general when it comes to bass and well clear audio But I'm just not getting that with these and I am finding that it's song specific and I'm not sure if any of you who may own these um, Pixel Buds Pro may have felt the same it's just something that I've noticed. Now, I'm not saying that the bass on this is bad because it's actually really good, but from time to time, I do find that there is a song which was pretty bassy on my previous everyday earbuds, the Pixel Buds A, to be not so bassy on the Pixel Buds Pro. In fact, some songs are practically not bassy at all. Now, there is a equalizer setting in this, which is my next complaint, because the equalizer only has one setting which is that basically, which to me, it's, it doesn't make a huge difference. I do like to be in control of my sound and how I listen to it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't stop the fact that the sound that these produce is still relatively good quality. Now, moving on to the actual features of this. One of the things I absolutely adore about these earbuds is multi-point Bluetooth, because I could be there on a train, I could be working on my iPad, on my laptop, and then when a phone call comes in, I can answer it on these whilst I'm connected to my iPad. Unfortunately, there is a limitation of how it works because I believe you do have to pause music on your iPad or your laptop for it to come back onto here, which isn't a big issue in my view. And what I really like is the fact that it actually has multi-point. I haven't come across many earbuds that, well, to be fair, I don't think any earbuds have this option. And it's something I really, really love about my Surface. It's absolutely something I absolutely adore about my Surface headphones too. And I highly recommend checking out the review if you haven't already. I'll link it up above and down below for you to check out. But yeah, it is something that I felt was missing from earbuds. Now, in terms of ease of use, I do wish that there was a dedicated app for these. I find it that going into the settings, um, just to change a setting such as uh, transparency mode, uh, normal mode and um, active noise cancelling is actually quite a hassle and I don't think many users will know that that feature is there to go into. Now the good news is that Google have actually come up with a workaround and that's to bring the controls to the actual earbuds. So say for example, I'm going to a cafe, I want to buy a coffee and I want to speak to the nice lady that's um, working in the uh, cafe. All I have to do is hold the right ear cup 
and that will turn on transparency mode for me now transparency mode is really really good on these so far the best transparency mode i have experienced are on the airpods pro and that was pretty decent but these are very close and i do really like it what i find really important is that i am able to have conversations and but at the same time i find that these are really good for listening out to announcements listening out to traffic to make sure you don't get hit by a car but say for example i sitting on a train i'm sitting next to someone and they start having the loud phone conversation and it gets pretty annoying if that's the case all i have to do is hold the right earbud again and that will turn on active noise cancelling mode which is actually rather good when it comes to active noise cancelling what i do like to do is i like to take it down to my local train station and the reason for that is i can test it in a wide range of scenarios now unfortunately i am blessed with there being some pretty old-fashioned trains at my local train station um, which are diesel powered I believe and but well, when they depart you can hear it so obviously they're not no earbuds no no headphones are going to block out the noise fully but the reason I'm testing it is to see whether I can actually hear music or that audio book I might be listening to and Compared to other earbuds, I can tell you right now that these perform pretty well. I didn't even have to turn the volume up. Yes, I did hear the train departing. It was extremely loud, but I was able to hear whatever I was listening to at the time. Now, another thing I test um, when it comes to earbuds like this is whether they cope pretty well with announcement. Now, funny story. I bumped into a friend last week when I was uh, waiting for a train and we got into a conversation. Long story short, um, I decided to um, test active noise cancelling on these uh, earbuds and <laughs> he was there looking strange at me while I'm moving and I was like, huh? Well, there's just been an announcement that the platform has changed. Has there? So I looked at the board and yeah, there was, uh, the platform has changed. So I actually missed that announcement because of the noise cancellation on these earbuds, which to me is really, really good. These earbuds also have other features. I mean, for example, I mean, I find it astonishing that a huge amount of budget uh, wireless earbuds, and I'm talking about earbuds that are say under 50, 60 pounds here in the UK, have built-in volume controls. Whereas the higher end earbuds, a lot of them don't, uh, but these do. And it's actually pretty cool. All you have to do is literally that. And that's to turn down, that's to turn it up. It's strange because down is up and up is down, a little bit like a speech from the Pirates of the Caribbean, believe it or not. But in all seriousness, the volume control ability is really good on these. And another thing I really like is the fact that you have access to the Google Assistant. So say, for example, you have a few notifications on your phone. All you do is you hold the left earbud and then Google Assistant will start talking and giving you your announcement and things like that, which I find really useful, particularly if you're walking um, and you don't really want to get your phone out of your pocket. Now, now moving on to my final verdict, I really, really like the Pixel Buds Pro and the reason for that is convenience. They are, in, in my opinion, they are not designed to be decent um, earbuds which are designed for audio files. No, not at all. They These earbuds are earbuds for an everyday person like me who just wants to, well, have access to music, um, podcasts, audio books uh, when out and about. They're for someone who is gonna be commuting from one place to another constantly. Um, and doing basic sports. I don't think I'll take them to the gym. I haven't yet had a chance to take these to the gym, but um, for that, I would feel much more confident taking the Pixel Buds A simply because of that dangly thing that they have. Um, but as a everyday set of earbuds that you might want to take with you traveling, they are absolutely worth my recommendation. Mm -hmm.